we are now on to the third part of the Quimbly modding tutorial. This time, we're going to be looking at editing dialogues. So to start, download Addressables Tools, which will be in the description. And in the video, I'm noticing now, I accidentally was editing my backup of Quimbly. Do not edit your backup, guys. That was a mistake on my part. But you're going to open the Quimbly version that you want to mod and go into its data folder, open streaming assets, and then open the little A's. And in that folder, you'll find a file called catalog.json. Now move that file into the addressable tools folder. Open the addressables tools folder in the Windows terminal. Type example space patch crc space catalog.json. That'll make it so that you can edit the addressables and the game won't freak out basically. You know it works because the command prompt will say patching and it will create catalog.json.patched. Move catalog.json.patched back to where you found it and edit it from .patched to just .json. Next, you're going to want to go into the Streaming Assets folder, AA, Standalone Windows 64, and then in there you're going to see all the dialogues and all the character sprites. You can move any character's dialog in. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be editing Deb's dialog. So once you drag it in, it's not going to automatically open you're gonna have to click the info button. Upon clicking that, you'll be able to see a list of assets like before. I'm gonna select Deb's talking sprite, go to plugins and export the text. When you open the text, you're gonna notice uh, it's formatted in a certain way that is YAML. That is what the new system right now reads the dialogue as. So you can change all these to whatever you want. I'm just going to write a little conversation about Raisin Bran. Completing that, save the YAML document. Go back to the UABEA window, find the asset you changed, click plugins, and then import text. Then you can import the text document you made and make sure that it's the same as you changed it when you click view data. Now you can click file save, but it's not going to work. So you're going to have to go back a layer and then save the file that way, as you can see in the video. Now let's see if it works. So there you have it. That is basically all there really is to changing Quimbly aside from changing the source code itself, which we will cover in the next tutorial. However, that one's going to come at a later date because I've been spending all day from waking up to now creating these tutorials and I'm looking to do anything else. Anyway, thank you guys for listening thus far. Uh, the fourth tutorial will come sometime soon, and as always, if you have any questions, put it in the comments or talk to me on Discord and I'll be happy to walk you through the process.